Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm a little bit somber right now because I just finished up an audition and it was kind of dark, but it was fun. Um, anyway, so I wanted to talk about knowing your value and when to say yes and when to say no. So you should say yes when you want to say yes and you should say no when you want to say no. I know it sounds like so straightforward because it is. I think we over like complicate it. I was actually recently in a situation where I had this woman who wanted to meet about this freelance job that she wanted to hire me for and when I met her there was something about her her energy that just didn't really sit right with me and it, I didn't feel like her energy felt aligned with mine. I, she came off as a little bit a little bit condescending and I, I you know maybe maybe she didn't mean it in that way but I didn't feel good about it and I ended up saying no to her and in my last video I talked about being real and you know not being fake and I didn't say like oh your energy was condescending or anything like that but I said you know what I hope you find someone that's a better fit for you I don't I don't think I'll be able to do this um, she never replied but okay whatever that's fine but in the past, I, I know that for me, I, in the past, when I was younger, I was very much a people pleaser. I wanted people to like me. I would do anything to, you know, please them. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. And it's not an egotistical thing. Don't think about it in that way. You know when you're coming from the ego. Don't think about it in that way. Just know your value. Look at, look at things like, I don't know, uh... What's an expensive watch brand? Help me out here. Rolex. Rolex, thank you. Okay, Rolex. Can everyone afford a Rolex? Mm, to be honest, no. But that's why it's so um, valuable and why people want to buy it is because of what it, the value that it holds. So you have to think of yourself in that way too. Um, so same thing with, okay, do you want to go to a fast food restaurant or do you want to go to a five-star restaurant? this is how you how you have to think of yourself how are you positioning yourself because how you position yourself is how people are gonna buy your product right so if if you think of yourself as expensive and someone is disrespecting you you're like no sorry you can't afford me i know i know this i hope i'm not offending anyone by this but i'm trying to give an example of knowing that you're if you're a good person, you're not trying to hurt anybody, you're smart, you're talented, your time is valuable, then treat it as such. And you don't always have to say yes when it doesn't feel good. I think we live, I, I've had many conversations with people where they're like, well, if I didn't have to pay the bills, I would be doing this. And it's you telling yourself that because you're living in a place of lack. I understand everyone has bills you got to pay, you got to do certain jobs and that's fine. But if there's something you want to do, the only person that you're stopping you is yourself. And the only person when you say, I'm not, I'm not good enough. That's only you deciding that. So you decide how people treat you. You decide your value. And I just went all over the place with this video, but I think, I think you'll get what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I'm just sharing my thoughts. It, this is actually really, really therapeutic to do this. It's almost like journaling vlogging or YouTubing. So find something for yourself too that just, you know, helps you get your thoughts out. Anyway, thanks for watching as always and good night or good morning wherever you are.